Hi, I'm Dr. Payne, and welcome to part two, our second lab on intro to programming in JavaScript with a simple game example. To be able to complete this exercise, you'll need to have finished the previous introduction, lab one, and have a fully functional guessing game. If you haven't yet completed that, please go back to the previous tutorial. You'll be needing the same tools to complete this second lab, a text editor and a browser, and we'll be building on the sample file that we started with last time. We'll take everything that we've learned so far in our guessing game and add just a couple of extra features. To come with me to the text file that we created last time, we've got a fully functional guessing game. If you want to see what that looks like in the browser, it looks something like this. I can guess a number between 1 and 100. It'll tell me if that guess is too high or too low. Well, part of the fun of a high-low guessing game is getting there as fast as you can. I'm using this binary search to get there in just about seven or eight steps, no matter how many uh, times I run this program, I can get to a correct answer in seven or eight steps. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and guess just a bit in between these two numbers. I know my number is either 26, and it was in this case. But I'd like to keep track of how many times I had to guess to get my number, because I'm claiming that with a binary search we can get a number between 0 and 100 in less than and eight guesses or less every single time. I want to test that and see if I'm getting under eight guesses every time I play the game. So one of the first things I'm going to have to do is enable my program to keep track of the number of guesses. I'm going to come into just about the second line of my script that I started with the last lab. And I'm going to create another variable called the number of guesses. And I'll abbreviate that as num guesses. I'm going to set that number of guesses initially equal to zero because I haven't guessed anything yet. And when do I need to increase that number of guesses? Well, whenever I make a guess. So every time I come into check guess, I could go ahead and add one to that number of guesses. There are several ways I can do that in JavaScript. I can say num guesses plus equals one. That means add one to the number. I can say num guesses equals num guesses plus one. So that every time it comes through, it looks at what num guesses is. Zero the first time adds one to it. And that becomes the new num guesses. Or I can do something even shorter and I'll choose this, the plus plus operator. That means increment this variable, the number of guesses. This is a nice programming shortcut, a little shorthand we can do in JavaScript and C++ and a number of other languages. So every time I guess, it's going to increase my number of guesses. It's going to count how many times I've guessed. Then I'd like to change my output to tell me how many times I had to guess. So I'm going to change my output text. You got the number in some number of guesses. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add text to a number and then add more text to the end. I'm just going to separate this line. And by adding in this plus num guesses plus inside my string or right outside these double quotes and before these double quotes, I'm telling the program to print out you got the number in however many guesses it took me. 
I'll do the same thing for my alert text box. U1 and or after num guesses. I have a few spaces in here that will help you out. Make this a little more readable. So when I get the number, when I guess the number correctly, I'm going to output, you got the number in, how many guesses it took me, tries, please play again. And then I'll pop up a window that says the number was our number, and you won after so many guesses. Let's give this a compile, I mean a save and a run the way it is. Refresh your page, remember, in Chrome. I'm going to guess 50. It's too high. 25. Too high. 12. Too high. 6. I've got a low number this time. Three, four, and I got the number after six guesses. I got the number in six tries. Well, there's one additional thing that I need to do back in my program. Right now, I never reset that number of guesses. I reset my number to a new number, but I don't reset the number of guesses. If I kept playing, Right now, it would add the total number of guesses that I've had. Ah, and this time the number was 50, but I got that on my first guess of the new round, not seven guesses. So all I need to do is add one more line to my winning case. When I guessed the correct number, I need to set my number of guesses for this new number back to zero, because I've not guessed for this new random number quite yet. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to come back in Chrome. Refresh one last time. And now when I guess 50, 75, 67, I got it in three guesses. When I start on my new number, I guess 50. That's too high this time. 25, 12, 18, 21, 19. My number is 20. And that took me seven guesses. We'll talk a little bit more in class about why this binary search will always enable us to get our number between 1 and 100 in 8 guesses or less. But just enjoy playing with the program a little bit. Save your guessing game with this new edition, counting the number of guesses. And we'll work on this program a little bit more in class. You've got enough for your second JavaScript lab right here.